Uh, I play Colonel Eve Baird, a counterterrorism expert in the military uh, who's an investigator. And I get invited to work uh, at the library. I don't know why. I don't necessarily want the job, but I've received this mysterious invitation. And um, I am the guardian of the librarian. He doesn't want me either. Noah Wiley's character doesn't want me around. Um, and then we discover that the librarian and the librarians in training uh, are all in danger of being killed off. And so I become the guardian to the librarians in training as well. So we understand that a lot of the action kind of falls on your shoulders. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that and the action? Well, our job is to run around the world and collect dangerous magical artifacts to keep them out of the wrong hands. And uh, there are all these, you know, people chasing us and in pursuit. And um, and so I am sort of there to fight them off. <laughs> yeah. As any way you can. Huh? Exactly, exactly. So, um, I mean, you have had to do that in your past. Uh, I have. Career. So, do you have to learn anything new? Uh, you know, I did a show. I did a show last year for TNT called King and Maxwell, and I had to do a lot of MMA training for that, and a lot of weapons training for that, and so I sort of already had that training freshly in my body for this. So yeah, I, I, it's nice. It breaks up the day. You know, when you work 16-hour days and you have 10 pages of dialogue to learn every day, sometimes when your job is just to put down your script and run down the street for the next two hours, it's like breaks up your day a little bit. Don't have to go to the gym. How is it actually doing the, I mean, acting and the It's great. It's great. You know, it's you, you sort of have to get used to learning dialogue and doing action at the same time. I mean, there's sort of a technique involved with that, but it's, it's fun. So there are a lot of TV legends coming on the show, Johnny Marquette. Yeah, Jane Curtin. How was it like playing with them? Fantastic. Fantastic. I couldn't, I mean... John Larroquette, I just, I love working with him. I love working with him so much, and he's so funny. Matt Frewer, um, he was phenomenally funny and great. Bob Newhart, we didn't actually work with. He, he stayed in Los Angeles to shoot his part of it. He's only in the first two episodes. Um, and uh, I don't know how much he'll be involved going forward, but... Uh, you know, hopefully I'll get to meet him at some point. I never met him. Now, did your character sign up for this job, or just did she get kind of thrown into it? She got thrown into it. She did not sign up for it. She doesn't even really want it. She likes her job in the military. <laughs> um, and she doesn't believe... My character is kind of the voice of the audience, the skeptic, and the, the one who doesn't believe there's magic, there's no Santa Claus, I don't know, no, 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 but you know, it's there in my face over and over and over again, so I have no choice but to to get involved. Okay. Tell us more about the relationship with Rebecca. I, I'm, my name is Rebecca, my character's name? No, oh, sorry. My character's name is Eve Baird. Yes, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Well, I get this magical invitation that brings me to the library, and I don't know what it's about. I don't know what it's for. And when I find out that I've been summoned to be a guardian to the librarian, who's Noah's character, um, he doesn't want me either. So it's sort of a it's a rough relationship at first, and then I think we earn each other's respect. I, I have to. The stakes get pretty high in the first two episodes, and I have to give him a pretty major pep talk to get him to do what he does best, and I think we start to earn each other's trust, and I start to realize that this magical world does exist, and 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 that I am needed in it, and um, and so it's it, it's a slow burn of a relationship, but it does eventually turn romantic. Yes. You know, it's so hard when you shoot a series to do the, ex you know, the exposition is often a, a real bear to, to deal with, but you're going to get backstories on all of us. You'll get backstories on the three librarians in training in the first up. 
you won't get much of a backstory on my character until the Christmas episode. That's where you sort of learn about where I come from, which is actually later on in the season. Okay, and uh, that past, does it impact a lot on where, where you are right yes. now? Yes, yes. Any people from your past that would come into the... No. no, not yet, not, not in this season. Uh, but you, you sort of understand. Uh, well, you sort of understand why my character is who she is, and and you know uh, why she's able to do what she does with so much passion. Yeah. And uh, how how does Eve compare to your previous roles, like in Ugly Betty, Eastwick, and uh, Kingdom Maxwell? Well, they're all very, very <laughs> one was a witch, yeah. one was a transsexual, <laughs> one was a former Secret Service agent. Uh, they're all fun. They're all fun. They're all very, very different. I loved all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I really, I've been such a lover of this genre. I've never gotten to do action adventure before like this. Um, and the way it's really kind of like Indiana Jones, but as Noah Wiley describes it, Flynn Carson is Indiana Jones if Indiana Jones was played by Don Knotts. And from there, we take the tone of the show, which is that level. It's if you know if Indiana Jones is Don Knotts, you're talking about a clown. I mean, you're talking about like it gets pretty silly. Um, so yeah, it's it was really fun. I mean, it's it's fun to find the comedy in in a high stakes situation and and I love anything that's kind of high concept which is like Eastwick and like Ugly Betty and less so King and Maxwell which is a little bit more reality based um, but I love I love high concept and I love action adventure and so it was that was really why I wanted to get involved. Lindy mentioned that one of her favorite things was that she gets to be silly like her character and act and be silly. Do you, does your character or she get to have like those silly fun moments or is she more I, serious? I'm the, I'm the straight man of the group. I'm the voice of the audience going, there's just no way, I'm the skeptic, but um, I definitely have silly moments, yes. We all do. <laughs> Especially in the fairy tale episode. I'm excited about that one. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> it was so, one of the early ones that we shot, actually. Okay, so I was going to ask if there is a scene or an episode coming up that you just can't wait for the fans to see and tell us about. Uh, my favorite episode, uh, my two favorite episodes were the fairy tale episode and the Christmas episode. And, um, but the one I can't wait for the fans to see the most is the finale, because there's a huge payoff in the finale. There's a real, all the episodes are standalone episodes, and all the artifacts that we seek out uh, have nothing to do with each other, seemingly, but every single one of them plays into the finale. And the whole, uh, the series is wrapped up perfectly and all of the artifacts end up relating to each other in, in the finale. Mm -hmm. So each character has their own like special gift. Mm -hmm. If you had to choose any other, like would you switch any other gift with any other person in the show? With my own you mean? Yes. Or like would you rather have someone else's gift? No. No? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Are you talking to me, the person, or the act, or the, or the character? No. 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 <laughs> no. I think we're all happy with our set of our particular set of skills. I think they all serve their purposes, and I don't think we even know how they apply until we use them with each other. And you know, early on, I'm in charge of them, uh, but they, and they're not prepared for the danger that's out there, and I have to train them. And within the first few episodes, they earn my respect to a point where we decide to work together instead of me being in charge. We decide to become, we really kind of become a family and, and start working together. 